What is up my Poke Thieves Martin here back at again with another video and today we got something excited because we will be opening an unreleased set. Now depending on when you're watching this video, maybe the set's already been released, but the time of this recording, it hasn't been, and y'all probably already know what set I'm talking about, but if we take a look at this camera right over here, we got the one and only Shilling Rain. You can already see the products we have out here. We got the Build and Battle kits, aka the pre-release kits, and then you also get three loose booster packs on the side for each kit, and then on top of that, we got some sleeve boosters, one of each artwork. Look at that beauty. And shouts out to Isle of Gamers for supplying these pre-release kits. They released it a week ago. I'm just really late on the videos. I know a lot of people posted up their pre-release kits already too. So yeah, I'm sorry that I'm late. And the sleeve booster packs were actually from Walmart. We just got really lucky getting these. There's a whole story behind it, but I'm gonna go through it once we open them. And if you're new to the hobby, you're probably wondering, oh my God, how do I get these packs before release? So I'm gonna be explaining how you could actually get these products too up to two weeks before release date now when it comes to getting packs early most of them happen through your lgs and again if you're new you're probably wondering what lgs is it literally just stands for a local game shop and as i said before we did get ours at isle of gamers which is a local game shop here in the bay area so if you're trying to find one in your area all you literally have to do is uh, type in google local game shop go through the list of pops up and then call them up you got to be a little bit proactive because some of these places actually don't sell tcg product and what i noticed too is that most of the time tcg product isn't their main thing like it is a local game shop it's in the name they probably have board games and then pokemon is a little side thing so yes that's why it's important to call them up and if they do have pokemon products then look at you got your store right there so now when it comes down to actually getting these pre-release kits typically they're released two weeks before the actual set date but Pre-orders could be as early as three weeks depending on which store you have I know Safari Zone had theirs for like a couple months beforehand But yes, every store is different and to be more specific Isle of Gamers actually had these pre-release kits up for grabs 17 days before release date and then they allowed me to pick it up three days after so yeah that was two weeks before release date that we were able to get these and another thing to note is that usually pre-release kits are released the same time nationwide because before covid they actually had pre-release events for new sets but obviously that's not a thing anymore but at least some stores still allow you to pick up the pre-release kits so again just call your lgs at least three weeks beforehand ask them if they have pre-release kits available for the next set and if they sound confused or don't know what you talking about rephrase the question i ask if they have build and battle kits because technically these are build and battle kits and if that store doesn't really focus on pokemon it's just their side thing then yeah they might not know what a pre-release kit even is so yeah this is the main way to open up packs before the actual release date for a new set but y'all saw it we got some sleeve boosters over here as well and i will be going over how i got these but i've been talking for too long i'm excited to open this up this has been chilling in my room no pun intended these have been chilling in my room and i just been looking at it and i did want to make a video about this so enough of the talking let's get to opening these bad boys and as i said before each kit comes with three loose booster packs as well so the way we're going to be opening it up is a kit first then the booster packs it came with and then another kit and the three booster packs i mean if we're going to open it like this then we might as well battle it out so let's go ahead and go with this first kit over here and y'all i am excited let's go ahead and break the seal voila the seal is off. We're gonna take it out the box in three, two, one. Here's the promo. All right. Before I even check out the promo, what I really want is the Cresselia. But honestly, I don't really care. Oh, this is the one I didn't want. <laughs> it's the Pasivian. But honestly, I don't really mind too much about the promos here because you know they're all iffy. I do like the the Cresselia more. But I mean, they're all in the same playing field. Like the best promos that came out so far for these pre-release kits for Sword and Shield was Vivid Voltage. But I already got the ones I wanted there. And yeah, as I was saying. I didn't want this Basimian. Oh, look it! There's a... I don't even know his name. A Drizzle? I think his name's Drizzle in the background. And look at the logo. Shilling Rain. Let's check the quality on this. And in Vivid Voltage 2, there was a lot of Hollow Bleed for these promos. I think depending on what type of card it is, like, you know, it's fighting, it's orange, you might not be able to see the Hollow Bleed, but we'll see with the other ones. But you already know it comes with four packs. And look at that! Almost one of each artwork. And something else to note, too, is that I think Shilling Rain might be one of the first regular sets to include more than four artworks because there's five in here right let's see we got these so what are we missing yeah we're missing the other uh ghost rider dude i don't even know what i i haven't played a dlc i don't know their names but it's the other version of calyrex and that horse i don't know y'all but let's go ahead and open this let's let's move this up up over here we'll open that later but yes let's go ahead and open up one pack first and technically y'all 
I really did open some shilling grain off camera. Oh, not really off camera. If you follow me on IG, then you probably already saw that I opened up some shilling grain when I got those uh, Walmart blisters. But y'all, first pack on the camera, in front of the camera, the official setup in the studio. One, two, three, four. And then those blister packs that I opened too. I didn't really get anything. I did get like a... Actually, no, I did get something. I got a V-card. But we got a Rabut. Agatha. Shop it, and we will be going slow, just because I haven't seen all the artwork yet. Ghastly, making a comeback. Oh, Kung Fu! Was Kung Fu in Battle Styles? I don't remember. Oh, Tapu Fini, I think this has to be a rare, right? Yes, that is a rare. Three, two, and one. Oh, Blissey V! Yo, first hit of the day, out of the first pack. FPM, first pack magic. And we're just gonna be putting you in some regular uh, sleeves. Penny sleeves, that is. So this first build and battle kit is taking the lead. Put this off to the side for now. Here we go. Galarian Zapdos. Roadrunner. Chicken Boy. Oh, Diglett is making a comeback, bro. I swear. I think I did see a Doug Trio in the rare slot, right? And surprisingly, a lot of people have been getting their pre release kits and getting some good hits. Oh, I did the back. I did the back. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? I did the pack trick wrong, but look at that beauty. Galarian Moltres V Full Art. Yo, this is the card that I want, or not exactly the my chase, chase card, but out of the three birds, Moltres is my favorite. Oh my god. Yeah, I, did I do that wrong? I'm gonna have to replay that. A lot of people... Bruh. Let's go ahead and go through everything. We got the leaf. Karen's Conviction, hey Karen. Porygon, Diglett. No, yeah, I did the pack trick wrong. Score Bunny, I counted, I could have swore I counted five, but obviously I didn't, Blitzel. I don't really know who that boy is. Seibold, Seibold, but yo. All right, for now, we will just uh, put you in a sleeve. I don't have any top loaders on me, because I've used it all. There we go. Centering's looking clean. Now, I haven't heard a lot of people complaining about the print quality just yet. All right, we're gonna hit it with that. Pat Flynn trick, double in on the zoom. Now, I believe this, this counts for corners, but if you're doing PSA standards, that doesn't really matter. But everything is looking smooth, y'all know why ending. The centering looks decent. Obviously, the shakes, like, the more I zoom in, the more shaky you can see my hands. So, I apologize, y'all. If y'all are new to the channel, just know I shake. I got the tremors. It's genetic, right? Nothing I can do about it. But look at that beauty. Yo, I'm happy with this. I'm happy. Still got two packs to go. Yo, every pack was a hit. Yo. Man. It's gonna be a long video, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty. We've got the code card again. If you're watching this before release, I don't think you could use those code cards. I think you gotta wait till like Thursday? Maybe, maybe like the actual day it releases. I'm not too sure. Got World Peed. Sobble! Sobbing it up! Wait, he's meditating. I'm trying to get them feels out the way. For fool. Diglett! Hey, let me get a Doug Trio. Hold on. Fwake! But Alright, that's not no Doug Trio. Here we go. Galarian Articuno. And I believe that, that card we just pulled for the Moltres, I believe that's a full art, right? I didn't bother to check the number. Because, yo, I like Pokemon's new move with all these alternate arts. Now, I would say that we've been seeing more of them in Sword and Shield, but technically, we've been seeing them since, like, Cosmic Eclipse and Sun and Moon. Now, Sun and... Like, I mean, I'm sorry, not Sun and Moon. Cosmic Eclipse had the bangers for the alternate arts. Like, I think, in general, my favorite alternate art is the uh, ADP, Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia, where it's, like, a stone statue. I'll put a picture up. But that artwork really just reminds me of Avengers Age of Ultron at the end scene credit where they're just like, they're a statue. It looks pretty much like the same thing. We got Grookey Reverse and Weezing. About to be Weezing if we pull a gold card. Come on, let's go. Now, I did watch a video too of PokeRev opening a whole case of him. And a whole case I think is like 10 pack, or not 10 packs, 10 uh, build and battle kits, right? And he was able to pull a gold card. So my guess is that maybe out of a whole case, you're likely to get one gold card? Oh, no, he pulled two gold cards, actually. So that means if we're able to pull two gold cards out of ten kits, and we got two kits, 
I don't know where I'm going with the math, but I think we might have a possibility of pulling gold. On top of that, we still have those loose booster packs to open and the sleeve booster pack, so we're gonna be opening. We're gonna be here for a minute, ladies and gents. Weedle and a. Oh, zero or. Yo, yo, this just reminds me of what my actual chase card is. It is Zero Aura. Like, I don't even like Zero Aura as a Pokemon in general, but the artwork for the alternate art is just sick. It looks like straight from an anime. Like, I ain't talking about no Pokemon anime. I'm talking about, like, the real, real anime, manga anime type of thing. Does Pokemon have a manga? I don't know. I'm uncultured. But still, this is a nice hit, though. Zero Aura V card. Yo, we hitting. We hitting. There you go. What I really want to do, though, is get a whole booster box for a pre-release. I don't think they'll ever do that, especially nowadays. Ooh, look at that code card all scratched up. They don't want y'all to have it. One, two, three, four. Let's see. Probably don't want y'all to have it because there's probably no hit in here. Or maybe there is a hit, so they're like, nah, we're giving away too many. Ooh, Melani. Melani? So, who is this dude? Cybold? Is he from Sword and Shield? I don't remember. Venipede. Bound Sweet. Lapris. Gallade, ooh, and a Zongoose. Okay, not, not special, I told y'all. There's gonna be nothing in there. Last pack with that Galarian Moltres. Ooh, my favorite bird of the trio. Let's get it. Alrighty. Last pack for the left-hand side. We got a total of three hits out of seven packs. So that's a little bit less than 50. Maybe 40. My math is off. Don't ask me to do math right now. Here we go. Psychic. Brawly. Whirlpeed. Fawake. Blitzel. Ooh, I like this artwork. Did we run into this yet? Yeah, I mean, Chilling Grain got some sick artwork. Now, I think in Eren's uh, or Edon's Pokedex entry, he eats metal, right? Like, that's why he, like, resides in the mountains because he's, like, eating ores. Delibird with the presents. Larvesta. Coughing and a Ooh, Weavile Hollow. We'll sleeve you up. Usually we try not to sleeve up the hollows, but I mean it's our first time opening this set, so we might as well. And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to a hollow bleed, because this is a water type, it bleeds through the blue more visibly. And I like it, I like it. And I think that was the only hollow we pulled there too. We pulled more V cards and ultra rares than we did hollows, so that's a good sign. But that was it for the left hand side. The right hand side has to beat three V cards, or two V cards, one full art, and a hollow. Can we do it? Here we go. Build and battle set number three, or number two. I'm sorry, let's go ahead and open this up. Alrighty. As I said, I don't mind. I mean, I don't mind any other promo. I just don't want another Pissimian. Let's see, three, two, one. Ooh, Inteleon! Now, honestly, Inteleon is not my favorite starter. If anything, he's my least. But, it is a water type. And I when I want to grade my CGC cards, or when I want to grade my cards through CGC, I want to color code it. Or color coordinate it. Because I like the blue on blue. But honestly, I don't think Inteleon is worthy enough to be getting uh, graded like that. Darren looks decent. And on top of that, too, you can probably buy like each promo for like only 10 bucks. So they're not expensive as they used to be. You guys, we're seeing a drop in the market. I don't know if I showed this off earlier too, but it's a little playmat thing. Let's open it up because I didn't open it up before. Calyrex. On the left hand side. Oh, we got a whole list. Oh, let's see. Let's see what we got here. All the secret rares on right here, right? Hey, why aren't the secret rares on here? <coughs> Hold on, let me get a drink of water right quick. He's hot. Is that number two? Oh wow, okay. We got a little bit of duplicates in that one. I'm gonna throw the box on the floor. Galeri Moltres. And y'all, shouts out to the boy Marvin too, because I did mention he was the one that told me about the blister packs from Walmart. But on top of that, my boy was actually the one that picked up these uh, pre-release kits for me. Because when they had it, I was at work the whole day. Like, uh, Isle of Gamers is only open from like 12 to 6 on the weekends. I believe it was a Saturday, right? But yeah, they were open from 12 to 6, and I had work 8 a.m. To 7 p.m. But yeah, obviously I couldn't make it, so I had him pick it up, but then we we're just like, would they even allow him to pick it up for me? So I decided to call first. And yeah, they're just like, yeah, he could pick it up for you. Just drop down his name, your order, and then like your phone number and his phone number, just so we know. And lo and behold, he was able to pick it up. So shouts out to the man. Now, even though I pre-ordered these, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be guaranteed. 
to be saved for me because I as I said I already pre-ordered them online but I don't know something about it it's sus I just like if I could pick it up as soon as possible I would but yeah I had work all day and because from where I work from where the shop is it's like a 30 minute drive and uh, my breaks are only 30 minutes long so I'm like bro I'm not gonna make it from back so shout out to Marvin because he was picking up his too go lurk oh I like the artwork look at this Reminds me of uh, Iron Giant for some reason. Megaton Fall. Oh, who plays um? What's that one game with Megaton? Oh, Fallout. Fallout Three. There you go. That's the first town you visit or city. I don't know what you want to call it. Dude, I miss playing Fallout though. Like, I've only played three of them. I know there's a recent. Well, not really recent, but the most recent code card. I'm sorry. The most recent one was Fallout 76, right? I heard bad things about that one, and I still have yet to finish Fallout Four, but. Dude, RPGs were the thing back then, but nowadays, it's like, it's so time-consuming, like... As, oh, look at that, we got double gloves. Weeding gloves and justified gloves. Avery, Bound Sweet. I think I was saying something before this, but I lost all track of thought. Look at that, it's, um... Melody? Melody? I don't know her name. That she is a waifu waifu. I wouldn't mind getting her. In, like, a full art or something. Dear Ling Ling. Surfage, okay. Reverse rare and a... Sawsbuck. Yo, this right hand side is not doing too hot. But even if we don't hit anything here, I'm happy with that full art. But I believe it's a full art, right? Not an alternate art. I think the all oh, no, of course. It, the alternate art has a sick artwork. It looks so majestic. One, two, three, four. But yeah, Zero Aura is gonna be my chase card. There are so many other cards, but I have to see it. I need to get an elite trainer box so I can look at the card list. Because I know a lot of people leak the card list through like the Japanese sets. But I'm just like, I'll just wait it out. I want to be reminded. I want to be surprised, not reminded. About all the hits we can get. Glabapus Pus. Grookey. Oh, look at Grookey. Looking cute. Goldfish Reverse and a... Toro's Hollow. We actually already pulled this card off camera. So we're not going to be sleeping you up. Alright. This left hand side is looking trash. But, I mean right hand side. Last pack magic. Oh no, 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 no. Last pack magic for the building battle kit, but we still have those three loose booster packs. Dang, every time I try to get the code card out, it like brings up the last common. So we already know which card is gonna be there. Corellia and a cast form. That was far. Like, I've been so MIA with opening packs that it feels like I'm like messing up on the pack trick. Rugged helmet. They got so much clothes in here. Look at that. Crushing gloves, helmets, gloves. What is this? What is this? A whole ass wardrobe. Athena. Aaron. Routes. Ooh, I like that routes. This reminds me of uh, X and Y in that first field. I think it was like Route 3 or something. Greed it and a go lurk again. Mr. Iron Giant in Megaton. Alright, that was it for the build a battle kits. But here we are with the loose packs. Now I wonder if they just grabbed three packs from the same booster box or if they shuffled it and uh, then they pick out three from that stack. But knowing them, they probably just picked six consecutive packs from the same booster box. So if we were able to pull two V cards? I forgot what we pulled already. Or which cards came from which packs. Wait, see? I already felt like... Okay, no, I did the card trick right, but I felt like I did it wrong there. Home Tef. Celio. Melanie again. Snover. Galarian Slowpoke. Crab Brawler. My man, snow runs with the artwork again. Weedle, oh, echoing horn, and a glade. Boo! Alrighty, second last pack for these uh, for these loose packs. Kung Fu, literally training. Trash to the side. See, there it goes again, pulling up that last uncommon code card for y'all. One, two, three, four. Ooh, wow, this pack is smelling. Smelling like, you know, that new card smell? This is what this pack smells like. Impact Energy, looking nice. Thawaki. Gopu, we saw you already. Blitzel, stuck in the middle of nowhere. Quillfish. Slowpoke. Weedon. Porygon, and a... Passimian with... Oh, is this the same Passimian from the artwork? Look at, look at, look at. It's the same Sobble. And then Homeboy evolves into a Drizzle. And well, then, lo and behold, he becomes a lone wolf. 
strays away from the pack. It comes Inteleon. What is going on here? Or maybe... Homeboy Passimian kidnapped his kid, and now he's trying to get- I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I tried to make a whole story up on the fly, but nah. My improv ain't that great. But yeah, that was neat, neat to see, though. I like that. Uh, then, we got the last pack of the right-hand side. Now, we take an L's. Unless we get a gold card. If it's that gold Snorlax, then maybe we'll take a W. The right-hand side will take a W. Alright, let's see if I can pull out the code card without seeing the card at the back. Ooh, alright, this is gonna be good luck. This is gonna be good luck. Here we go. We got one, a two, a three. Let's see how many packs it takes to get a gold Snorlax. The world may never know. Raboot, Scroll of the Skies, Corellia, Venipede, Bound Sweet, Lapras, Blitzel, Aaron. There's, just, there's just like an Aaron in every pack. Scroll of Piercing and. Oh, Gardevoir Hollow. All right. I think we literally pulled like only two hollows from the right hand side. So that was a bust. Y'all already know the left hand side took the lead. But we got five more packs to open up, and it's gonna be these five sleeved boosters from Walmart. And since we made it to these sleeved blisters, let's go to another tip on how to get packs early. And as I said, we we're able to get these from Walmart. And from my experience, when it comes to getting packs early from big box retailers, I think Walmart's gonna be your go-to spot. Places may vary, but from my first-hand experience, I, yeah, it's Walmart that usually releases these like a whole week ahead of time. And how do you know which Walmart gets their product early? You're gonna have to network, you're gonna have to join some communities. And how do you do that? Pretty simple, just join a Discord with like local collectors. If you can't do that, follow some pages on Instagram where they release some drops and whatnot and like network through there as well. Because Walmart is a big box store, there could be multiple sightings nationwide. And once you see these Instagram posts come up saying, oh, look at this, this Walmart has their stuff early, you know, it could be a signal for you to go check your Walmart as well. Honestly, this is a tip I should be taking myself because as I said before, Marv was the one that told me that these packs were dropping at a certain Walmart. And he's the one that tells me about these drops and he's the one in the group. So shouts out to your boy again, Ace Trainer Marv. If y'all don't know him, y'all better follow him, please. But anyways, enough talking. Let's go ahead and go open these packs. We only have five and this is what I was talking about. We have five of each artwork. We got the Calyrex Ice Rider. I think this one is the Ghost Rider, right? Calyrex Ghost Rider. And then you got the three birds. The Galarian version of it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. You know what? Well, we'll start off with the uh, the Riders first. And we'll end it off with my favorite, Galarian Moltres. Now, honestly, my favorite bird, the Cantonian versions of them, I think, I think I'll go with Articuno. But with this guy right here, I don't know. He reminds me of your Veltal TBH. But anyways, <laughs> enough, enough of the side conversations. Here we go. First pack of the blisters. And I did mention earlier that there was a story that I wanted to share when we were buying these packs. And look at that, it was the same artwork from the sleeve to the actual uh, pack. But yes, there is another story I did want to mention. Now I'm gonna be opening the packs and telling the story at the same time. If I butcher the story, I'm so sorry. I am really bad at multitasking. If anything, you're about to see a lot of cuts throughout this little segment right here. But let's go ahead and show off the code card and we'll get started with this story. Voila! One, two, three, and a four. Alright, and we got the leaf energy. Now story time. Was I not recording? <gasps> Gasp, I wasn't recording! Face cam was gone, ladies and gentlemen. I'll probably include it in the clip so you guys know what happened. But yes, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the little audio trick. We're gonna clap it off. All right, my face cam was gone for a minute, but we still got to continue with the story time, all right? So when it came to buying the packs, it was me, Fondamon, Ace Trainer Marv, and his homeboy, Eric. And when he told me about it, me and Fondamon were already out and about, so we were able to get to the Walmart before them. Fiona, World Peed, Crushing Gloves. These look nice, though. These look nice. Rock Rough. So yeah, as I was saying, me and Fondamon got there first, as then uh, Ace Trainer Marv and Eric end up pulling up too. But the thing was... We were stuck in line for a very, very long time. There was like two families in front of us that was just like stacking up for like the next pandemic. Like these boys were taking forever to check out. They had like their carts filled and everything. So once the line was moving up a bit, we actually ended up seeing another family in the aisle. And I guess they lined up the wrong way or they just didn't know where the line started and ended. But yes, there's a family hiding in another aisle and they actually allowed us to go first. But it was me and Fondamon mingling on one side, uh, then uh, Eric and Marv chatting it up. 
So when they were saying, oh, you guys can go in front of us, it was more directed towards me and Fondamon. But yeah, we, we just let them go first anyways, just because we wanted to buy the packs as a group. So in total, we probably waited around like 20 to 30 minutes for all three families to be done checking out. Because another family had issues with like pricing or something. So yeah, it was just it was just a long wait. And we got ooh, Simeon again as our rare. Alright, second pack from the sleeve blisters. But yeah, mind you that at this Walmart, I mean this is the first time I was at a Walmart like this where you have to uh, go to the cashier first to get the TCG product. Like everything was locked up behind the counter. So we actually had to wait until it was our turn to check out before we can even get the packs we wanted. Oh, I see Doctor. Doctor, Doctor. I got four to front. One, two, three, four. So yeah, once it was our turn to go buy the packs, I was able to get mine. Marv was able to get his. And then it was the homeboy Eric's turn to go buy his packs. And we were going in on the quantities. Like, if I were to guess, I think the shelves were stocked up with like a whole case of blister packs. Or not blister packs, sleeve blisters. So that's around like, well, 144. So there's a lot to go around, and uh, yeah, I wanted 20, Marv wanted 20, uh, then um, Eric was outdoing everybody, he wanted 30, he was, he was getting a whole booster box. But anyways, it was Eric's turn to get his packs checked out, but the cashier needed her register changed. And you already know if you work that retailer like fast food, when you get your register changed, you need a manager to change it for you. Let's go ahead and finish up this pack. Avery and A. Malamar, what you doing in this set again, boy? So yeah, manager pulls up with the new register and she sees how many packs Eric was buying. So then when she saw that, she was like, oh, I'm sorry, we actually have a four limit quantity. Uh, then we had me and Mar standing off to the side with the bag full of cars. And I'm like, oh man, this is awkward. Like, <laughs> this sucks. We got all the packs and Eric wasn't able to get any of his. And this was probably a mistake too, because yeah, we were just waiting for him to get his packs and we're just standing off to the side with like a bag full of cards. So I'm pretty sure like the manager's able to put two and two together. Like she was probably walking up with the register and then we're just standing off to the side. She sees us with all the cards and then she sees how much he's buying. He was like, oh no, you know what? I really got to enforce the quantity limit. One, two, three, four. And because we were standing there too, I thought she was going to say something to us. But I mean, we already bought the packs at this point. I don't even think she could even tell us to like return the cards or anything like that. So obviously we got away with that. But yeah, I feel so bad for the homeboy Eric just because we were getting our packs and he wasn't able to get his. He only got four. But then Fondamon came to the rescue because technically she didn't buy any cards yet. It was just me and Marv. So she was able to get four packs for herself. And then on top of that, me and Marv ended up giving up four of our packs to Eric. So we all ended up leaving with 16 packs each. Which ain't too bad. Coughing, Shuppets, Squovitz, Sfeel, Squovit again, and a. Ooh, Avery! Full art trainer! Again, I haven't played the DLC, but I'm pretty sure he's a character in it, right? I don't know his significance, but hey, it's a full art trainer. We'll take it, we'll take it. Out of how many packs we opened, we got two full arts? Let's keep it going, let's keep it going. But yeah, back to the story. The reason why I mentioned the family letting us go first and we're like, nah, we'll let you go first is because like, if we were to able to go first as a group, then maybe we would have been able to check out fast enough so the cashier wouldn't have to get her register changed and we probably would have all gotten the amount of packs we wanted. But yeah, when he was telling us that we can go first, it was more directed towards me and Fondamon. I was like, nah, we gotta go as a group. So yeah, probably our mistake on our end, but you know what, it's all good. We all left with a decent amount of packs. Like 16, that's like almost half a booster box. Especially because the set isn't even released. So I'm excited. This is why I was like so, so eager to make this video. Just because I was like, I want to open up these packs. But I do want to give some tips every time I do a video nowadays. Just because like channel is one years old now. And there were some questions that I wanted answered too. But you know, it takes, it takes some research to get the answers you want. Like one of them was like the pre-release kits. Like I didn't know how to buy it. So when I first bought those Darkness of Blaze pre-release kits from last year i actually paid like a premium just because i didn't know how to do it so that's why i'm making this video with like all the tips and whatnot zangoose reverse and a galarian surfage i think i paid like 25 a box i actually 25 ain't even that bad i think i paid 30 for these ones but the thing is with that one that i bought for darkness ablaze it was just the booster i mean it was just the building battle kits no uh no loose boosters with it so yeah and this was before the whole uh, boom too so it was like these build and battle kits were readily available but you guys last pack magic here we go let's see if we can get something i mean i'm already happy with the pulls but anything is a anything after this is a cherry on top two three four 
But yeah, as I was saying that story out loud, it wasn't really anything too excited, but you know, it was just one of the f uh oh, I did the card trick wrong. But yeah, it was my first time going to a Walmart like that. And the fact that the first cashier let us get as many packs as we wanted was a blessing. Like we were, dang it, hold on. I think I just missed it by one, right? But yeah, it was a blessing that she let us get as many packs as we did. Because a lot of stores are really emphasizing the quantity limit. Like I went to Target and like Target is getting product now. But I went through a self-checkout to buy like four of Vivid Voltage check lane blisters. And when I did the third check lane blister, the light went off and it was like asking for an employee to come. And yeah, they're really enforcing that uh, quantity limit. So I'm like, damn. So getting those 20 packs was uh, well surprising. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've been talking too much. I am really bad at multitasking. I felt like I butchered that story, but here we go. LPM, Last Pack Magic. Can we get in the chat? Can we get in the comments? Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> what in the world was that? That confused me so hard. I was like, how did I miss the rare? Oh my God, an urn of vitality. Fatality? Fidelity? I don't know. Urn of Vitality. That's what I'm gonna call it. Gold card, y'all. We did it. The gold scared me. I thought it was the Snorlax, but nah. It's a, it's a little trainer item card thingy. All good. A gold is a gold card. Probably like the least valuable out of the set. I should have looked at the condition, but am I gonna get this card graded? Nope. But pulling a gold card. Nice. Let's go. So y'all already know how we end off the videos. We gotta do with a little recap, all right? Out of 19 packs, we we're able to get a Bliss EV. Zora V, we cup a couple hollows that I that were probably lost in the bulk, but we got an Avery Full Art Trainer. Oh my, probably my favorite out of everything, the Galarian Moltres V Full Art. Yes, it is not an alternate art, and a Urn of Vitality. That caught me off guard. I honestly thought I did the card trick wrong. Oh no, I did do the card trick wrong. But seeing the gold card right behind that, surprising, surprising, got me speechless. So ladies and gentlemen, that about does it for this video. If you found the video helpful, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like, hit the sub. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers and it helps a lot if you hit the sub button, not the sub button, that notification bell, all right? And I'll be seeing y'all in the next video.